Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from danstube.tv, and I've made it my mission around here to help tech enthusiasts unlock their creative potential with technology. And today we're checking out the newly released Apple AirTags. Now these tiny white pucks from Apple are such a unique product, but it's something that we've seen in the past. It's nothing crazy new, but what they've actually done here is they've enabled the Find My Network and they've created a Apple ecosystem that almost makes it impossible to lose something now. So with previous puck and tile designs, you'd be relying on local pucks or tiles in the area to actually triangulate a location of your lost item or product. But with the Apple ecosystem and the Find My Network, straight when you ping out saying that you've lost something, it will then triangulate the location based on iOS devices in the area. Now, this is revolutionary in the sense that there are so many more iOS devices out there than there are you know, third-party pucks and tiles. So to triangulate a location of a lost item is going to be a lot easier than relying on the tiles and pucks that are available in the area. The AirTag is really embedded into that Apple ecosystem, and because there are so many iOS devices out there now, it's really unlikely that you're not going to be able to track down your AirTag. And that's what stands out to me, you know? If you're in the middle of nowhere and you lose your AirTag or you lose your camera bag or your luggage or whatever it is, you've got a higher chance of being able to track down the AirTag than you would over other alternative you know, kind of tracking pucks or tiles on the market. So that's what really made it stand out to me. In terms of the design, it's a very minimal basic design. They have no color options. It's just that straight white with the silver back, the Apple logo, and a bit of text around it. AirTag, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, Bluetooth LE, and ultra wide band. So very basic design really. There's nothing going on. They haven't gone with the color combos. They haven't given us any crazy design options. You have a few options to have uh, like little emojis and even some numbers and text on the AirTag if you really wanted. But I just went with the plain white AirTag. And then from there you can get a lot of different accessories to use with your AirTag. At the moment I don't have anything. I'm still waiting on my Belkin keychain. But as it is you can literally just slot your AirTag into the pocket of a bag for example or you could put it into your wallet or you could put it into whatever it is that can actually house it but it's probably going to make a lot more sense to have some sort of keychain or luggage tag or something so you can actually have the air tag connected to whatever it is forever basically. Now in this video I'm going to show you the setup process and give you my initial review of the air tag. You can buy the individual air tag or you can buy a four pack of the air tags so it really depends on what you want and I will have those links below to check out the AirTag or the AirTags, depending on what you're looking for. As you would expect from any other Apple product, the setup process is unbelievably easy. It's almost like anyone could do it. They just make the process so easy. And I think that's why Apple really stands out as one of those companies that, you know, really integrate their hardware and their software and their ecosystem to make it the easiest process possible. So you literally just get your AirTag out of its packet and then you just put it close to your phone. Sometimes I noticed on the left and down the bottom, it wouldn't recognize it, but I definitely noticed on the right and near the top of my phone, it seems to pick it up straight away. And I've now tested this with my girlfriend's device and also the iPad, and I found a similar kind of arrangement there as well, where it's like on the right hand side of the device or near the top of the device seems to work the best for me. And then boom, up comes the interactive setup process. You literally just connect your device and then you have the option to choose where you want the AirTag to be positioned. So you can have it on a backpack, you can have it on a camera, you can have it wherever you want it. And there's a few options here to choose where the most appropriate place is going to be. And then you can also go right down to the bottom and have a custom device where you can change the name and change the emoji. And the reason this is powerful is because if you've got four different air tags, then you know exactly what it is that you're tracking. It kind of puts um, an ID onto that air tag. So you know what it is that, that air tag is looking after, I guess. Once you've decided what product you want the air tag to be attached to, it's then a case of just going through the final prompt to kind of give you a bit of a rundown on what the AirTag is and what you can use it for. And then it's set up. It's that simple and it's all integrated now into the Find My system. So that's it. You can literally close it and it's connected straight away. It's that simple. It's a few steps and you're ready to go. So then what you want to do is you want to go into the Find My application and then you can see the AirTag that you've set up. It will tell you exactly where it is on a map and then you have the option to play a sound to let you know 
where it is. So for example, if you've got it connected to a keychain and you've lost your keys in the couch, for example, you can play that sound and then have an idea of where your keys are, which is really, really handy. And then from there, you can also do the finding system, which actually brings up a really cool interface with the newer devices. And it will bring up almost like an augmented reality with an arrow pointing in the direction of where the lost AirTag is. And then from there, you can move around and find exactly where your AirTag is. You also have the option to enable a torch, which doesn't always pop up. It only depends on, I guess, the lighting and whether you're still struggling to find the AirTag. But to be able to enable that torch is another handy thing if you've lost your keys, you know, by the side of the couch, underneath the couch, or somewhere where it's relatively dark. So if you tap on that find button and you've got one of the latest iOS devices, it will actually bring up like an augmented reality experience. So from there, you can actually see with an arrow exactly where that item is. And I think this is the big calling card. This is the unique offering that Apple have really put into their interface here to make it nice and clean and easy to figure out exactly where your lost keys are, where your luggage is, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to figure out. It gives you a really clear idea of where to go, which I love that. And I think even for the older devices, it's still pretty reliable. It just takes you to the map and you have an idea of where it's roughly going to be. But to have that augmented reality experience is phenomenal. I did have a few issues though, where it just wouldn't bring up the arrow. It was like, oh, uh, struggling with a signal or, can't figure out where it is kind of thing. And it was kind of a bit disheartening because it should just work. It's meant to be an Apple device. That's what they pride themselves on, just making it work. So I had a few issues with that, which was a bit of a bummer, but for the most part, it seemed to work pretty well. I had no major issues. Like even though it wasn't, you know, finding the signal of the device, I could still have like a gauge of where it was because it would tell me it was two meters away or five meters away. So I could start walking in a direction and if it was going down, I knew I was getting closer to it. And then I noticed that when I got within like the two meter range, that's when the arrow seemed to pop up straight away. And then it was fine when I had it in range. Moving on to the lost mode, which is kind of the most important aspect of an AirTag. You have lost your AirTag, you've lost your camera bag that's you know got the AirTag attached to it in the middle of nowhere. You have no idea where it is, you can't find it. But some random person stumbles across it, and for whatever reason, they're a lovely person. They don't want to steal the camera bag, they actually want to give it back to you. What a lovely person, what a top person. I really like this person, they're nice. Please be like this person, do not steal other people's stuff. So they found it, and then they've got an Android device but they've got NFC enabled. So they just tap the AirTag on their NFC enabled device and it will pop up with a link to a website. And then on there, you'll have your phone number and it will say, I've lost my AirTag basically. So then from there, they can call you and they can say, hey, I found your AirTag. Please come and pick it up. Uh, let's figure out a location easy. That's sorted and you've found your camera bag. It's that simple when it works. You don't have to have an iOS device to tell someone that you found the AirTag, which I love, just an NFC enabled device. And then that's it. You found your device, you then disable the loss mode and you've got your AirTag back in your possession. So that's the whole process and it sounds great. Hopefully the person who finds it actually lets you know that they found it. But if all goes well, it's a really easy system to find your lost items or just to track items that you've maybe lost or misplaced. You can then just check it on your phone. You can say, oh, I've lost my keys here, which is a very small personal example, which so many people have where they lose their keys in their house. That's not really a big worry because no one's gonna steal it. It's in your house, you just find it and you leave. But if it's out in the middle of nowhere and you've lost your luggage in the airport, or you know, you've lost your camera bag at a shoot in the middle of nowhere, then this is a really good opportunity to use that Find My Network to figure out where the hell is my AirTag and my camera stuff. And then from there, you have a few other options in the Find My interface. You can change the name, you can look through the notifications, you can look through some of the basic settings there, but it really is just a tracking puck. That's all it is. It's just a tracking puck. You set it up and you attach it to an item you don't want to lose. And it's that simple. That's really all it's used for. But it is such a useful uh, little puck to have, especially within the Apple ecosystem, because like I mentioned prior, the fact that it's utilizing the iOS ecosystem to ping the location of it is really like an evolution on the puck and tile world that kind of has a little bit of a bottleneck in the fact that they really rely on other local tiles and pucks in the area. So that's kind of my thoughts on the AirTag so far. It works as you'd expect. I did experience that AR mode, that find mode with the later devices to be a little bit 
you know, dodgy at times. It didn't really work all the time, but it did work most of the time. And when it worked, it was fine. Also, when it wasn't working, it would still tell me a location. It would say like five meters instead of just saying nothing. It would say, oh yeah, it's five meters away somewhere in some direction. So you start walking and if it counts down 4.9, 4.8, you're like, okay, I must be walking the right way. And then it seemed to pop up with the arrow to show you, okay, it's over this way. So it worked for the most part. There were a few little issues and hiccups, but the setup process is easy and it worked as it's advertised. So honestly, if you're looking for some sort of tracking puck that will work really well, then the AirTag is the one to grab, especially if you have an iOS device. It just makes so much sense to grab the AirTag. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. I'll have some more videos on the AirTag very soon to kind of show you some other little things that I didn't really talk about here. But that's it. Make sure to have a great day and peace out.